Remember I told y'all sometimes I do these videos back to back to back because my mind be going and I get them, you know, out the way. It's better to just attack a task instead of waiting for it to come and tap you on the shoulder. Just go ahead and get it out of the way. So check this out. I had to go get some chapstick though because the, the last two films, I really feel like my lips was looking like I was an extra for Jungle Fever. I probably would have got a crackhead roll. Um, at least a good runner up. Anywho. Maybe people cling on to drama, don't they? Some people, they won't let it go. Like I was saying, I this I left this spot out of the book, right? Because I was talking about the people with relationships and how they love this drama or whatever. And um, they pretty much said that. Like, some people don't feel love unless there's some shit going on. And so um, it says they love high intense feelings and create dramas in order to feel them you ever be with somebody you be like where does this shit come from you be so confused y'all was good and all of a sudden they just throw some shit in the game and you be like i mean what kind of magical mystical dramatic powers of confusion do you have going on because i could have swore we was good 30 seconds ago yeah, that's them type of people. You gotta watch out for them. Them Houdinis of drama, honey. They pull it out of the sky. They be out there looking for it. They got some binoculars. Check out that motherfucker bear. They probably got some binoculars in the shoebox. Because they stay looking for problems. You know, you, you gotta do your investigation. That's all I'm saying. But some people won't let it go. They won't let it go like Peter Pan didn't want to let go of that damn shadow. He needed it. And people need drama. They It clings on to them. It's got them wrapped all up. All, they got them in a chokehold, baby. They got their hair locked up in the hands of drama. It's crazy. And you just be like, mm, mm, I can't live like that. I can't live like that. You see, I'm a different type of people. Be like, I love drama. But let me explain how my drama go. Let me explain how I like drama. Because I'm, I'm going to go ahead. Because I ain't got... I, listen, when you follow me, one thing you're going to understand is by me being who I am, ain't nobody paying me for this shit. I ain't sold my soul. I ain't did no scary rituals. I ain't slit nobody's goat to be nowhere and get my money. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here. I'm, I'm an everyday citizen. I can keep it a buck. Okay? See, this is my type of job. I, I like, I watch love and hip-hop and ignorant ass shit, and I sit here and people watch, because I let everybody else act their damn fool. And I sit here and I chuckle, when I go on and have a nice day and keep it peaceful. And I mean, listen, I do like to vibrate high, but make no mistakes, baby. I'm human. And there's some ignorant shit I do enjoy. But in my life, though, oh, no, I'm not going to sit up and fix up and not be arguing and fussing and fighting with nobody. I don't have that to do because to me, that's a life or death. That that thing can turn into life or death really quick for me. It can go from zero to one, a hundred. I don't, I don't play around with that. See, one thing about growing up, you should be getting to know who you are. You should be knowing your limits, okay? And that's the beauty. See, sometimes we want to bury who we are, but no, we have to embrace it. To survive and really make it through this life, you have to embrace yourself. The good, the bad, and the ugly, and even the twisted. And even the little bullshit you got in, in a little box in the corner of a closet with some garment hiding over it because you don't want nobody to see it. You got to embrace that shit too. Because that's the only way you're going to fix it, alter it, tune it up, or whatever type of situation that needs to be addressed, depending on how severe the situation is. Okay? So what I'm saying is, me knowing who the fuck I am, I'm not fixing to sit up and argue with nobody's son. Because it's not going to end well. And due to the current state of events that's been going on, I'm going to leave it there. It's not going to end well. Because you have to be careful what you say. People might take it the wrong way. But you already know what I'm saying. You know, sometimes people be sitting up. They be in such volatile situations. Somebody don't make it out. I can't be in that. Because I'm going to defend to the end. You hear me? So, um, I had to get me a brother that was strong. He was a strong man. Had a lot of skills, very intelligent, hold a conversation, had enough hood in him so he could survive. If it went down, he got us. You know what I'm saying? I got me a, I call him the 60-40. I got me a good blend. The brother is crazy. The brother is bad, okay? That's how I had to get it. But make no mistakes. A man that brings you drama, that don't make him manly. 
That's not, that's not, you know, he must be docile. No, he got stuff to do. He got constructive stuff to do. He got something to go fix. He got something he's doing that's manly. He ain't sitting up arguing with no female all day. Because that ain't manly. You ain't got enough shit to do, bro. Let me go, let's go ahead and pull out the, the wanted ads. Wanted, somebody looking for your ass to do something for him. It's probably somewhere got your name on it. Let's go on here and look. Because you ain't, I'm not about to, I, psh, sit up and argue with no man like he a kid. I don't want to argue with my kids. I damn sure don't want to argue with nobody's man. Son, cousin, brother. Some people love that shit, yo. Somebody, people be like, man, I think they wake up and they got a list of shit to do when they be like, wake up, brush teeth, wash face, wash, jump in the shower, eat a little something, start some shit. Like, that's the itinerary for the day. Working might be in there. Something constructive may, may or not. That's a hit and miss. But you going to get starting some shit on a to-do list. There's some people like that. They like to start shit. I mean, listen. I didn't create the narrative. I'm just telling you what it is. Don't be mad at me. These people exist. I'm telling you. In the whole time, when they be telling you about this ignorant shit, and you quiet or you looking crazy, they want to know what's wrong with you. That's what's crazy. Like, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with me? Yeah, you're right. What's wrong with me that I have to listen to this crazy shit? You're right. What's wrong with me? 